everybody loves walking around Shuk Machan Yehuda. It's in Yerushalayim, everybody's speaking Hebrew, but that doesn't mean that everything that they're selling here is something that we want to put in our mouth. We're going to be walking around the Shuk today with Rabbi Ezra Friedman to understand what we want to put in our mouths and what we probably don't. Hello, Rabbi Friedman. How, How are, are you? Hello, Bobby. Amazing being in the Shuk with you today. When I come and I see a two dollar like this, right? So you have to read the Hebrew. It says the name of the store. It says the address. It says it's Mahadrin Mahadrin, which is, you know, what does that mean? And then it says that the Trumot and Masrot, the Halachic tithes, were removed according to Halachic standards. There's no concern of Orla or Shemitah. And you can see the date. So the it's basically good till Pesach. Good till Pesach. It's important to know. The Hebrew year that you're in, in order to know, usually the Trudot in Israel are given until the era of Pesach. So I, I gotta understand something. I'm standing in the store, right? This lady looks like a, a, extremely friendly. She has a picture of the Baba Cherebi in the back, picture of the Baba Sali, everything's great. Even Birkat, ba Birkat the Bait over there, right? But you say, at the end of the day, if I don't have a Tuda, I don't trust the picture of a rabbi that's in the back, okay? So I see one Tuda from Agudat Israel. In, in addition to that, they also have the daily Right? Which day it is? Today's Wednesday, the 13th day of Elul. The true Muslim masses were taken today. The Mashgiach came, he switched the date. Perfect. And then an additional Tuda of Rabbanut Yushalai Mahadran. Right? Also look at the date. It's till the end of this month. It's perfect. Why would somebody have both two Udot? That's up to them. But I'm asking myself, and many Americans that don't understand Hebrew are going to have a rough time with this. But it's written Bachanut Zo. In this store, you can sell papaya and raspberries and passion fruit. You can only sell if it's closed in a closed package with a uh, seal on it, right? What's special about papaya, petal, and raspberry and passion fruit? Two different issues. Passion fruit and papaya have a question of orla. They grow very, very fast and it's very, very hard to find them when they're not orla. You have to be very careful to get a grower and a time where you can get it where there's so a problem. like most trees, they have to wait till the fourth or fifth year yeah, exactly. to, for them to start growing fruit, papaya and passion fruit. From the first year already you have fruit. Exactly. Eggplant, for example, even though it grows, it's the plant, it's not a fruit. And it grows the plant, there's no orla. There's so no even orla. though this grows right. only two years, the chazani says it's absolutely fine. Papaya and passion have that problem, but raspberry is something else. Raspberry have no problem with Orla. Your raspberries for years. Bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. It's so the Mahajan stores, they won't allow uh, raspberries. Yeah, and now again, reasons. a drink or something else, but regular raspberries are always questions of bugs. Very careful. Rav Ezra, I'm standing in a store. I don't know what extra they have on the store. Didn't see a Tuda. Can I buy a pineapple like this that doesn't have the head on it? Well, it depends if it has the head or doesn't have the head. If it has the head, it means it's from Israel, which means there are questions of Orla and Truna Masro and so on and so forth. If it's cut, it's from out of, out of the country with no questions of Orla, Truma, or Masro. Therefore, whether there's two down or not, 100%. it says if it's a closed pot product and I could buy a pineapple that doesn't have a head. Exactly. Can I take one that has a head, just cut it off and then buy it? Doesn't work. I see open sabras and open little kiwi. Open mango, open pomegranate, open juice. Uh, juice, right? Can I trust this? Make sure there's a certificate inside. Make sure there's a certificate approving not only the ready-made fruit, but the cut fruit, and then you're fine. I do not see a tuda on the store. Could I buy leafy vegetables here? I'll tell you more than that. Leafy vegetables, there's no packaging. All leafy vegetables in Israel grown with certifications are greenhouse grown. We have a lovely, lovely country with temperature and hot and cold. But with that comes a lot of bugs. So the only real certified kosher leaf vegetables, that means coriander and parsley and basil and lettuce, and of course broccoli and cauliflower are greenhouse grown. So for example, we have right here, it's a little bit open, but here, again, there's no, no certification, right? You have to make sure you buy it with a certification on it. So even if it's in a bag, it doesn't mean it's certified. Right. Like in the store before I showed you, there's certified lettuce with certifications on it that we approve. Gotcha.